Exchange for Media Group welcomes you to the Pitch Brand Talk 2022. It's the attention towards this big, beautiful screen. I believe everyone can see the picture. What most of us need to understand that every big picture is created by connecting the dots. It's time that we welcome the man who creates the dots. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the man of the hour. Please give it up for Dr. Anurag Patra, Chairman and Editor-in-Chief, Exchange for Media Group and PW Business World. Good morning, it's my honor and privilege to welcome you to a pitch brand talk. We started pitch events almost 18 years back. Uh, and we did it in multiple cities. It used to be called Pitch Brandstorm. And you know, my friend uh, Ashish is there in my school. We went to the same elementary <laughs> school many, many years back, almost 32 years back. And uh, you know, he came to the first, the second edition. You were there, Ashish, 18, 19 years back. I want to welcome all of you. My apologies for starting late sometime. Technical things have their own way of planning out. I don't. I just want to use this opportunity to welcome Mr. Rajesh Ramakrishnan, who's the MD of Perfecty, who's our keynote speaker. Uh, thank you, Rajesh, for always being there for us and making a fantastic company and always doing something which is thought provoking. Uh, also, welcome Mr. Mehta from Amul, who's come all the way from Anand to be here. It's grand talk. My friend Mr. Sulakar Rao, who's come from Hyderabad, uh, you know, he and me share the passion for books. Soon I shall share my, your passion for cycling also. So when I grow up, I want to be like you. Uh, I may not grow up, sir. That's the only thing. But uh, today, we, I, you know, I grew up reading a magazine. I'm a magazine aficionado. I buy still 30, 40 magazines in a week. On marketing called AM. We all, Mr. Rao, Mr. Ramakrishna, and Mr. Mehta, we all grew up reading that. It used to be a fab magazine. And I used to store copies. You know, I still have lots of old copies, not all, but lots of them. And it had a tagline that marketing is business, business is marketing. And I think that's the thing we have today for the pitch uh, brand talk. In the last 30 months, the world has become a different place. In some ways, a better place. Uh, COVID is behind us, but we know what's happening in China. So it's, I hope, we're able to continue with the freedom that we have and the health that we have. A lot of things have changed in the last 30 months. One of them is the movement to, towards building businesses that are sustainable for the planet. I'm not just talking of sustainability for the balance sheet, I'm talking of sustainability. Purpose has become deep. Purpose used to be something that we write on the, you know, walls, wherever there is a vision. But I think today individuals, organizations, brands are all living a deep purpose. We used to talk of YOLO, you only live once. And again, millennials are very important part of everyone's PG, whether it's a Perfetti, whether it's a Nikfai, whether it's an Amul, or whether it's a glance in Mobi. You know, millennials are a very important part. I think you have seen in the last 10 months that people are spending more and more on experiences. They're not necessarily saving. Uh, it is manifested in the way experiential services, whether it's in any domain, are growing. Also, I want to say that the movement towards health, immunity, and well-being has grown. Of course, Amul has captured that. Last but not the least, what is very important is sustainability of businesses. There has been a winter of investing. In that winter of investing also, India has got $20 billion in startups. Till July, it had got $15 million. Till June. And in the last five months, it's got another five, six billion. This is in the winter. Of course, when spring comes, this number will be 40, 50 million. And in the spring is around the corner. 
right now there is a recalibration happening. Business has gone back to profitability. Look at revenue versus cost, not chasing GMVs. And yes, there is a downsizing happening. Coupled with what's happening with Twitter, a little bit of madness, but all madness settles into perfect chaos. It's an oxymoron, you know, but perfect chaos uh, is what is being witnessed at Twitter. There are layoffs at Meta, there are layoffs at Indian companies. And in some ways, the companies are moving to an equilibrium. So it's an interesting time. It is a time for recalibration. I'm a Hindu, I'm a liberal Hindu, if there's one that exists. But I believe in the trinity of gods, which is Lord Shiva, Lord Brahma, and Lord Vishnu. To create something new, you have to design, destroy. I'm not talking of destruction in the classic case of destruction, but I'm talking of creative destruction. Business owners and brand owners are right now doing creative destruction. They are creating space, don't look at as destruction. They are creating space to be able to rebuild, recalibrate. I think in this environment, how you spend your brand money becomes very important. What is the purpose you are deeply involved with becomes important. I am not going to go into digital and how digital, I am sure throughout the day you will example. But I want to say that the next 3-4 years for India are exciting. This decade is genuinely India's decade. Uh, and India has bounced back and will bounce back stronger. So, more and more brands are spending money on mainstream media while the money on digital media continues to grow. But again, there is ad frauds on digital media. Um, you know, a lot of money gets wasted there. But the, today, technology is allowing us, whether it's blockchain, to be able to detect ad frauds on digital. That is encouraging marketers to put more and more money in digital. There is also a trend. I read a Harvard Business Review article three months back, how large brands in the world have gone back to print, television, and mainstream media in a big way. They've upped their spends because they moved away from just building search and ROI-based marketing to long-term brand building. You saw startups that raise money early this year using brands. Amul, I must say, during COVID, stepped up, it, stepped up its marketing and actually did more advertising than any brand because it realized that brands don't have to be just transactional. They have to build on the relationship they have with consumers. I just want to say as an individual, as an entrepreneur, as somebody who works with 380 people in both my companies, I want to say that it's time for reinvention. Health is very important. Uh, I, you know, my throat is off, but I'm sure it will be fair. But I am focused on health. I am focused on catching sleep enough because we all work ourselves to a point sometimes it leads to exhaustion. So I want to say while we have the dreams, good health, good sleep and meditation helps you get where you want to. I love coffee, but I am off coffee with you because I want to attain my health goals. Why I am saying this, you cannot achieve business goals if you are not happy, if you are not healthy. And happiness is about not about controlling things. It's about giving your best, and it's about being disciplined. You know, if you are giving it your best and you're disciplined, I'm sure happiness follows. Uh, the, the concept of happiness, again, is very abstract. And in a business and a marketing forum, why I'm talking of happiness. Uh, at the end of the day, you want to create happy customers, happy relationships, and most importantly, an happy environment, whether you're in the office or in your family. I believe that today's cutthroat world has to come back to collaborative, happy relationships. I think increasingly we are becoming transactional. I want to use this forum to say that for young people who are in this room, people like me, uh, I want to say relationships are the most meaningful part of life and that's how brands and business should be. They should be relationship oriented. I want to end by saying that the three C's that I try avoid are complaining, criticizing, and comparing. I hope each business and each brand has its unique journey. And, you know, while they compete, they collaborate. But life is about cherishing what each brand brings to the table and all each business brings to the table. 
brands live in the metaverse today, but brands also live in our mind. Over the last 30 years, I would have consumed 2,000 large brands, which are cracked, and maybe another 3,000 small brands, uh, which are niche. And I can say these brands have built my life and my journey equally as some individuals have. Today, individuals are becoming brands, whether we look at leaders, CEOs, and entrepreneurs. They are brands. I want to end by saying that the last thing that I want to plug is books. I attained a lot what I did as in losing my hair and so on and so forth. Uh, because I read more books when I was younger than anyone. I still buy more books than a lot of people I know, but I don't read all of them. I met my senior colleagues, they have worked 12 years with me and us in exchange in India in Bangalore a month back. And she said, I'm bored with my job. So I said, why don't you? She brought two books for me. And I gave her books around the third day or whenever I meet her. And I see a good book. And I said, why don't you create a book festival on advertising, marketing, media books for us? Don't do your regular job. But I must tell you that a business world, we've created India's largest business lit fest. It's in 21 cities. We start this Saturday at the Rosette House. We have 15 speakers. Karan Mada's book gets launched there. We start with Dr. Vivek Debroy. Then we have Good Charan Das. Then we have Dr. Kiran Karnik, who was my first advertiser in exchange for India 21 years back. And an eclectic lineup of 15 speakers, who are not just authors of speakers, but they're much more than that. They're entrepreneurs, they're policy makers. Then we do it at 11 Jan in Gurgaon at the Lila Gurgaon. Our opening speaker is Prakash Ayer. I don't have to tell people he was in New Kimberley Club. I met him when he was at Tata Donnelly and Network 18. And then we have all Dupuy, the chairman of Randstad in Asia Pacific. And we have an eclectic line of the speakers. We will also do, in collaboration with Exchange for Media, a two-day festival dedicated to authors only in the advertising marketing media space. Our job at Exchange for Media is to be innovative, come up with new formats, new ideas, and new impact. We are also launching India's largest business book prize. It's a 30 lakh prize for three books. The best business book. 15 lakhs, the first one up 9 lakhs, and the second one up 6 lakhs. Our jury comprises Gurcharan Das, Suhail Seth, and 8 other jury members who are very big personalities overall and also have great love for books. So I just wanted to use this platform because I have 120, 130 people in this room whose attention I have. Read books, be kind to people, brands and businesses will be built. Thank you. God bless. Thank you very much, Dr. Butler, for the wise words.